The reigning champion, Julian Godfrey, lines up on the middle of the front row of the grid for the supercar final. To his right, on pole position, is Kevin Proctor, and Dan Rook is to his left, a newcomer to supercars, and he's been mighty impressive all day. Ollie O'Donovan there, a former British champion, lines up on row two alongside the experienced Dave Bellaby. The third row would have had James Grint. He's missing a legacy of all the dramas in the semi-final. Steve Harris will be there, but he's got a clutch problem. Dave Newsham is missing. The Power Max Racing Ford has a cylinder drama. So Simon Horton and Jack Thorne get in as reserves at the back of the grid. We are just about set to go racing. It's bitingly cold here at Croft, but a big crowd has stayed to the end of the day to watch the action with local hero Kevin Proctor on pole position and a stellar cast around him. What can Jack Thorne do from the back? What can Dan Rook do from the front of the grid on the outside? And how is the reigning champion Julian Godfrey going to fare up against them? Let's find out because the grid is formed. The drivers now will get a five second board displayed by the officials. Then they will look towards the starting lights. The supercar final of round one of the British Rallycross Championship about to get underway. Julian Godfrey creeps and stops and gets bogged down as everybody else blasts away. A great start by Proctor, but Dan Rook is away like a robber's dog as well, round the outside on the way towards Clairvaux Corner. Two leaders side by side, and in the background, Godfrey is way, way off through the gravel into the barriers. Dan Rook goes wide, and Kevin Proctor is going to have the race lead then as they work their way up through Hawthorne for the first time. All action at the very first corner. Kevin Proctor comes out as the leader, and Dan Rook looking for a way past him. Double OD, Oli O'Donovan runs third, and Dave Bellaby fourth as they come across the loose for the first time. Jack Thorne is fifth, and as they turn their way now through the hairpin, Proctor runs a little bit wider. This is Rook's chance to get alongside him, but he's done it. Dan Rook goes through and takes over the lead. Fantastic. End of lap one of six, and Dan Rook leads the way as they come over the timing line. Tremendous stuff. He's got Kevin Proctor second, Ollie O'Donovan is third, and Proctor flings the car sideways through Clairvaux, now on an absolute mission to try to get back into the lead of the race. They work their way up towards the loose section of the circuit once again. But Dan Rook now, the race leader, is he going to be able to hang on in there? He's got Kevin Proctor looking for a way past him. They bounce their way across the loose section of the circuit once again, and here comes Proctor. Closing, closing, closing. He goes to the outside line, which is not the ideal place to try, but he makes it work. Incredible. Kevin Proctor round the outside, takes the lead. He runs wide. He's all over the grass, but he's back on and he's back in front. Rallycross in the UK is alive and well, isn't it? Over the line they come. Proctor leads and Rook fights back on the inside going into Clairvaux. Again, Kevin Proctor completely sideways. Both of them using all of the curb and all of the road there. 600 plus horsepower, two litre turbocharged engines, four wheel drive and Dan Rook absolutely on the limit. But the more experienced Kevin Proctor is back in front and the fact that the car is so battered around the gills underlines how dramatic the first two laps of the action have been. Lap three heading down towards the hairpin again now. Kevin Proctor leads the way and has just been able to extend the advantage a little bit. Jack Thorne there up from the back of the grid. He's had throttle cable and drive shaft issues during the day, but he's getting himself now onto the back of the opposition. Up towards the timing line comes the race leader then, Kevin Proctor. Three laps done, six lap final, and they're way wide and demolishing the floppy markers. Dan Rook really committed going through Clairvaux. Dan Rook, the former autocross champion, came to Croft at the end of 14 to have a look at Rallycross at the clubman's meeting, the BTRDA event, and thought, yeah, I like this, and stayed on. Won last year's Super National Championship and now graduates to supercars. And he is very highly regarded. He's articulate, he's intelligent, and he's very quick indeed. In this Duran Team Citroen, he's right on the back of Kevin Proctor, but Proctor knows his way around here perhaps better than anybody. He's won here in Rally Cross, he's won here in single venue rallies. The Ford leads the way. The ex Nessa Alatia car up front, and Kevin Proctor has already stated that he's not going to do a full season in Britain this year. Can we get him to think twice and reconsider this? Perhaps if the racing is this good and this competitive, Kevin might think twice. Right with him then now, he has got Dan Rook as they work their way again onto the loose part of the circuit. This lead battle is not over yet because Rook is only about three lengths back and if he's really brave, he might be able to have a go at Proctor and try to force a mistake out of him. Down to the hairpin again they come. Little trench developing on the inside where people have cut the corner a little bit, really trimmed the racing line through there. Proctor blasts his way across the loose section of circuit once again, though. 
The race leaders head off down towards Clairvaux, and as far as Dan Rook is concerned, he's running out of options, running out of laps now. Kevin Proctor looks as though he's going to be able to secure this. The race leaders are about to hit the loose for the last time then. Here they come, Proctor leads the way, Rook second. Is he close enough? Is he going to have one last demon move heading down towards the hairpin? That's the best opportunity for him. Across the loose they come once again, heading down towards the hairpin. Last corner, last lap. Dan Rook closes right up under braking. Can he get himself up the inside? Proctor lets the tail hang out. Here comes Rook. It's going to be close, but it's going to be nose to tail. And Kevin Proctor comes through to score victory in the first round of the MSA British Rally Cross Championship. What a race. Dan Rook, absolute hero of the day for taking second place. And third, he's going to go the way of Ollie O'Donovan. And that is a tremendous way to start the season. Kevin Proctor it is who takes the win ahead of Dan Rook, Ollie O'Donovan third. Fourth and fifth, we have Dave Bellaby, the head of Steve Harris, with the top six rounded out by Jack Thorne.